Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss one of the gate question which came in the year 2014 related to bankers algorithm. This kind of questions will help you to understand the concept in a better way. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First let me read out the question then I will discuss the solution with you. Look at the question. Due to space issue, I have not written the complete question. But however, I have written all the important points to understand the question and solve the question. They have three processes such as P0, P1 and P2. And three types of resources are there X, Y, Z. Okay. Now they have given two matrix. One is the allocation matrix and maximum matrix. Now the allocation matrix represents that for the process P0, 0 units of resource X, 0 units of resource Y, 1 instance of resource Z has been allocated. But however, it needs 8 instance of resource X, 4 instance of resource Y, 3 instance of resource Z to complete its task. Similarly, P1 and P2. After allocating the resource X, resource Y, resource Z, to the process P0, P1, P2, the availability of resource X, resource Y, resource Z is 3 instance, 2 instance and 2 instance. And then they have given two more requirements also, the requirement 1 and requirement 2. The requirement 1 says that process P0 needs 0, 0, 2, meaning is that it needs 0 instance of resource X, 0 instance of resource Y, 0, 2 instance of resource Z. Similarly, requirement 2 is also related to process P1, which is 2, 0, 0, 2 instance of resource X, 0 and 0 instance of resource Y and Z. Now, they have given four options. One is saying that requirement 1 can be permitted. Option B saying that requirement 2 only can be permitted. Option C is saying both are permitted. Option D is saying that none of the requirements are permitted. So we will solve the question and identify what is the right answer. First we will see with this availability whether can we satisfy all the requirements or not. Whether the system is in a safe state or not. Now if the max is this one and the allocation is this one then what is the requirement for each process. So we need to find the requirement. Okay. Now let me find the requirement for each process related to the resource X, resource Y and resource Z. Okay. Now if process P0 needs maximum 8 instance of resource X but we have allocated 0 instance. So its requirement is 8 instance of resource X. Similarly, it needs maximum of 4 instance of resource Y to complete its task. But however, we have allocated 0 instance of resource Y. So it needs 4 more instance of resource Y to complete its task. Similarly, 3 minus 1 which is 2. So it needs 2 more instance of resource Z to complete its task. Now we will calculate the requirement of process P1 which will be 6 minus 3 is 3. 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0. Is it clear? See, max minus allocation you will get the requirement. So, 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2. So, we got the requirement of process B0, P1 and P2. And we will see the availability. The availability is saying 3, 2, 2. Meaning is that it needs 3 instance of resource x, 2 instance of resource y, 2 instance of resource z. With this availability, can we satisfy the P0 requirement or not? P0 needs 8 instance of resource x, but however, we have only 3 instance of resource x. So, we cannot satisfy the requirement of process P0 currently. Is it clear? Similarly, process P1. Process P1 needs 3 instance of resource x and we have and it needs zero instance of resource y we have two instance and it needs three sorry zero instance of resource z we have two instance so we have 
all the resources whatever it the process p1 requires we have is it clear and we have more for the resource y and resource z as compared to the p1 requirement so we can satisfy the process p1 requirement similarly we will check whether can we satisfy the requirement of process p2 or not it needs one instance of resource x but we have three and it needs one instance we need we have two instances of resource y it needs two instances of resource z we also have the two instance so we can satisfy the p1 requirement and p2 requirement currently so we can allocate the resources to any one process let me give to the process p1 first just for simplicity you can give it to any one is it clear process p1 i will give okay now i have the availability as 3 to 2 and process p1 requirement is 300 if i allocate 300 instance of resource x resource y resource z to the process p1 then after allocating it i will have 0 2 2 is the availability now what will be the allocation of process p1 the previous allocation was 3 2 0 and the current allocation is 3 0 0 so which will be 6 2 0 so the allocation of process p1 will be 6 2 0 and its requirement is also 6 2 0 so its requirement has been satisfied maximum requirement are you able to understand 6 2 0 and currently the allocation is also saying 6 2 0 so process p1 got all the resources so it can complete the task so any process will request for the resource once it get it it will use it and then it will release all the resources so it will release the resources which is currently available it has six units of resource six instance or units is it clear six instance of resource x two instance and zero instance so the current availability will be six four two after completing the process p1 is it clear previous availability is three two two but now the current availability will be six four two and we have completed the process p1 now we will see can we satisfy the p2 requirement yes one it required we have six it requires one we have four it reads two we have but can we satisfy the requirement of process p0 it needs eight instance of resource x but we have only six instance of resource x so we cannot satisfy the requirement of process p0 is it clear so i will allocate to the process p2 is it clear after allocating it is it clear you can compute like this but i will compute directly it will be 2 2 1 extra which will be 8 6 3 will be the availability so the new availability will be x 8 6 3 is it clear how i got it you can solve whatever the way i have done but i have done the directly if you have watched all my previous video then you can directly say that you can calculate the availability like this after allocating the 112 requirement to the process p2 is it clear so the current availability will be 863 okay with this 863 can you satisfy the requirement of process p0 yes it needs eight instance of resource x we have and it has requirement of four instance we have six instance of resource y it has two in requirement of two instance of resource z we have three instance of resource z so we can satisfy the requirement of process p0 is it clear okay so the sequence will be p1 p2 p0 or p2 p1 p0 so i can say that with this availability with this requirement the system is in safe state is it clear are you able to understand now we will come to the requirement one is it clear requirement one is saying that process p0 is requesting for 0 0 2 is it clear now look at here we have the availability 3 2 2 so we can accept this request 0 0 2 so it is asking allocate 0 0 2 so 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 0 is 0 0 
2 plus 1 will be 3. So, the current allocation will be 0, 0, 3. Are you able to understand? Keep this one. Previous allocation is 0, 0, 1. It will be required for future. So, that's why I am writing here 0, 0, 1 is the previous allocation and it is asking for extra 0, 0, 2. So, it got 0, 0, 3. So, if this one is changing, then requirement also will change because 3 minus 3 will be 0. Okay. It was previously requirement is 8, 4, 2. Okay. Are you able to understand? Now, previous availability is 3, 2, 2. Okay. And you have given 0 instance of resource x to the process p0, 0 instance of resource y to the process p0, 2 instance. So, the current availability will be 0 because why you have to subtract the availability minus requirement to get the new availability which is 3 to 0. Keep the old availability. Is it clear? Now, with this one, can we make allocation of the resources to the process p0, process p1, process p2 and check whether the system is in safe state or not. Now, the current availability is 3 to 0. Can we satisfy any one process requirement or not? 840 we cannot satisfy 300 we can satisfy this requirement why it needs three instances of resource x we have it does not require y and z no problem however process p2 can be satisfied 112 but we have only zero instance of resource z previously we would have satisfied p1 and p2 now we can satisfy only p1 requirement okay so P1 requirement we are satisfying and we are allocating this one and process P1 will complete the task. Once it completes the task, it will release the resources. The current availability will become 640. Are you able to understand it or not? How I have solved? I have discussed earlier. You can solve it or you can directly write like this. How I am doing is that the availability is 3 to 0 whatever it is asking you allocate and it will release the previous allocation. So, the previous allocation will be 3 to 0. So, you add that one. So, the current availability is 6, 4, 0. I think you are understanding what is the representation of 6, 4, 0. If this current availability of 6, 4, 0, can you satisfy any other process? P1 is completed. Can we satisfy the P0 and P2 requirement or not? P0 requirement is 840. We cannot satisfy. Why? Y and Z resources we can satisfy, but however, we are not able to satisfy the resource requirement of X because it is requesting for 8 instances of resource X. However, the availability is 6, so we cannot satisfy. Process P2, it is asking for 112 of resources X, Y, Z. But however, we can satisfy the requirement of X and Y, but we are not able to satisfy the requirement of resource Z. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? Because it is requiring, asking for two instances of resource Z, but however, we have the availability 0. So, we cannot satisfy the P0 and P2 requirement. So, I can say that the system is going to the unsafe state. Are you able to understand it or not? So, we cannot satisfy the requirement of process P0. Is it clear? Are you able to understand it or not? So, the previous allocation was 3 to 2 and this one will be 0, 0, 1. Okay. Are you able to understand it or not? This is 0, 0, 1 and then the availability will be 8 requirement will be 842 are you able to understand so we could not able to satisfy the requirement 1 we will check it whether we can satisfy the requirement 2 or not requirement 2 process p1 is requesting for two instances of resource x zero instance of resource y and z so we if we give to that one the allocation will be 520 then obviously the requirement also will change 6 minus 1 will be 1. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? If you have given two instances of resource x to the process p1, your current availability will be 
one two two i hope you are able to understand because previously you have the availability and you have given the resource x to the process p1 so the current availability will change and process p1 requirement also will change now with this current availability can we satisfy any process requirement or not we cannot satisfy the process p0 obviously correct now p1 can we satisfy yes 100 we have 122 process p1 we can satisfy similarly process p2 112 one two two we have so we can satisfy p1 and p2 let me give the allocation to the process p1 is it clear if i allocate the, to the process p1 the current availability will be one two two plus five two zero which will be six four two is it clear six four two is the current availability with this availability can we satisfy the requirements of p0 no we cannot satisfy can we satisfy P2? Yes, we can satisfy. So, then I will allocate to the P2. Is it clear? If I allocate current availability 642, if I allocate 112, then it will become 333 and it will release all the resources. If I add to that one, the current availability is 863. Now, process P1, P2 is completed. Now, we will check the requirement of process P0. 842 and we have 863 so we can satisfy the requirement of process p0 so the execution sequence is p1 p2 p3 or p2 p1 p3 so i could able to satisfy all the three process requirements so i can say that the system leads to the safe state so i can permit the requirement 2 however i cannot permit the requirement 1 Look at here, requirement 1 can be permitted, but we cannot permit the requirement 1. It is saying that requirement 2 can be permitted. Yes, correct. Now, option C, both the requirements are permitted, but I cannot permit the requirement 1. It leads to the unsafe state. None of the, but we can permit the requirement 2. So, the option B is the correct answer for this question. I hope you have understood how I solve this question. If you still have any doubts related to this question, feel free to ask me in the comment section to clear the doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.